Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another episode of how to win your next pageant and it's high time that I shared some audition tips on the upcoming Femina Miss India 2024. I have made several videos on my channel before on how to create a strong first impression and how to put your best foot forward at the Femina Miss India auditions and if you want to see any of my older videos on the exact same topic then I am going to be leaving them in the description box below. However, as a pageant coach, I am constantly growing and evolving and learning new things and also observing how the pageant has changed and how the mindset and preferences of the organization has been evolving as well over the last couple of years. And so if you are a Femina Miss India 2024 aspirant, give me a crown emoji in the comment section below and keep watching. The first thing I want you to remember is regarding the photos that you're about to submit in your application for the pageant. If you have already applied for the pageant in the past and used a certain set of pictures, you don't want to send across the exact same photographs one more time while applying for this year's edition of the pageant. This thing holds true for even when you're applying to modeling agencies, but even more so important because the pageant organization, trust me, the talent team, they remember faces, they remember your names and not just should you not repeat or reuse your previously used photographs for a pageant application, you should also not be reusing or repeating the exact same introduction that you gave in the previous year. If you are doing that, it just goes on to show the organization that you haven't really shown any growth or put in any effort and you haven't really tried to improve your performance in any way because your application is the exact same application as last year. So even if you had gotten shortlisted as a state finalist in 2023, if you're going to be reusing those exact same application pictures and speeches and all of the details, there's a really high chance that in 2024, you don't even get that far because the organization is in a way already disappointed and you've already shown lack of initiative through your application. If you are a 2024 pageant aspirant and you want to train with me, then do check the link in the description box below where I have listed two programs that we are launching in the month of February, one being a weekend workshop that is being conducted in Bangalore because we love your city and there is so much potential in Bangalore aspirants. So do check out the weekend workshop where we'll train you from head to toe for your upcoming auditions and also do a mock audition. If you can't make it to Bangalore, we also have an online pageant grooming program in the month of February, which you can enroll for and prepare for your pageant from the comfort of your home, no matter where you are in the world. So do check out the details in the link in the description box below. The next useful tip for your upcoming auditions is the heel color. A lot of aspirants and people who are new to the field of beauty pageants assume that if you're wearing a black cocktail dress, you would wear a black pair of heels, which is actually not true. If you want to give the appearance or illusion of being taller, if you feel that your legs are slightly shorter than your torso, in any way you want to appear taller, go for nude or beige heels. And when I say nude, it has to be nude as per your complexion. If you have a really dark complexion, then wearing beige heels is not going to do justice because it's not matching your skin tone. Try to wear heels that blend into your skin tone and that's automatically going to give you an illusion of taller, longer legs. My third piece of advice to you is to keep your introduction extremely casual. These days, the organizations of national pageants are no longer looking for statements such as, I hail from the city of dreams, Mumbai. If you talk like that, you better change your attitude right away because that's exactly what they do not want in the competition this year. And if you've seen my previous videos where I talk about over preparation being a key mistake, do give that one a watch and you will understand what I'm talking about. For the auditions, make sure to keep your introductions super casual and just speak to the judges as you were to speak to a friend. And there is a situation where oftentimes an aspirant is eligible from more than one state to compete. The way the zonal auditions are going to work in that case is you will get not just one, but two chances to introduce yourself in front of the judges. They just heard that introduction 10 minutes ago from you. It's not a good impression to say the exact same thing again. If you are eligible from more than one state, make sure that you utilize and capitalize on that opportunity 
and make sure that you tell the judges more about you and more than what you could have if you had gotten just one chance to speak to them. My fourth tip for you is social media. I cannot emphasize enough on how important your social media profile is. If you're competing in any of these national pageants in 2024, your social media profile better be public right now, girl, because otherwise I don't know what you're doing. You have to think of your Instagram as your LinkedIn profile and your beauty pageant as a job that you're applying for, which is that of the title holder. How you utilize your social media, however, is crucial. Your social media should be able to give the judges an inside sneak peek into who you are and what your personality is because when you submit just four pictures in your pageant application form, those four pictures are not sufficient in order to give them an idea of who you are outside of beauty pageants. Who are you other than someone who's extremely photogenic and super gorgeous and can pose really well in front of the camera? If you want them to know about your hobbies and your achievements, and this is all even before you've reached and introduced yourself to the judges, make sure your social media is updated because that's your portfolio. That's a background check that they can do. They can get to know you before they have actually met you. The next thing I want you to keep in mind if you're competing at a national pageant and auditioning, remember to not wear colored contacts. It is also a rule that is often missed by pageant aspirants. And I see a lot of young girls trying to wear gray or brown lenses and trying to change the color of their eyes. While you can do that when you are in a photo shoot and on set, but when you are about to audition for a pageant, maintain the natural color of your eyes. And yes, you are allowed to use false lashes and lip gloss and go full glam, but maintain the natural color of your eyes and do not wear colored contacts. And the last thing, which is so, so important, and I know a lot of you would be thinking, what do I wear to the auditions? While the dress code is mentioned very clearly, which is a black cocktail dress. And once you register, you should also be getting a lookbook reference or audition outfit inspiration ideas from the organization in an email somewhere closer to the audition dates. But something that I recommend to all of my students and clients that I work with is do not rely on just one black cocktail dress. Also do not try to go for the cheapest black dress you could find you have to keep in mind the silhouette of the dress and how well it fits you. So make sure that you get multiple options to try on and go with the one that flatters you the most. Show it around to your friends and family and get an opinion or book a call with us and get an expert's opinion on what dress you should be choosing and not, and not just your audition outfit, but rather also your arrival outfit, which is something we cover inside coaching sessions. While the organization only asks for a black cocktail dress, you have to keep in mind as an aspirant that that outfit reveals your physique really well and that it shows how fit you are. It highlights the parts of your body that are something to be highlighted. Sometimes you like to show off your shoulders and sometimes you feel that you have a really nice torso or you have really toned thighs. Depending on that, you can choose whether the dress would be a halter neck outfit or it could be a cropped top with a skirt. You, you can also wear that instead of a black cocktail dress. Or you could have a slit in your dress depending on how you want to flaunt yourself. So those are all of my tips for the upcoming 2024 pageant auditions. If you have any more questions, do leave them in the comment section below. And as usual, I will try to answer as many questions as possible. Once again, I would like to remind you to check the link in the description box given below to check out the programs offered for pageant training at Conquer in the month of February. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching these kind of videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because, because in 2024, there's going to be a lot of juicy pageant prep content on this channel and I wouldn't want you to miss out. As always, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye!